Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. I right, welcome my YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of another alternate playbook. Uh, I'm really going through a lot of alternate playbooks right now. I'm finding a lot of new and exciting stuff. Um, the last playbook I did, I did an entire series out of the pistol playbook out of this formation. And somebody told me that it was also in the run and gun playbook, which is what I'm using right now. So I'll pop some links uh, for these plays as I'm talking because this formation right here is really what started me off in all the alternate playbooks. It's a really uh, dominant formation with a lot of really great plays. Uh, but I also went ahead and I, I found uh, I found some really good stuff from Running Gun. This particular formation right here is also in the Baltimore playbook. And I want to say there's a formation. It's in the Saints, but it doesn't have a lot of great plays in Saints. But the Baltimore formation has a lot of really good ones. Uh, so I'm going to show you some plays here. I'm pretty sure that all these plays are going to be in custom playbooks. Uh, but let me know in the comment section if they're not or if they're in any other playbooks. I'd really like to know. Uh, I'm probably going to do just one or one or two plays in this video. Um, and I'm going to start off with a really m amazing run play. I'm going to try out first. I'm going to go ahead and put some speed in the game as I typically do. We're going to go with my man Kenyon Barner. And then we're going to pick the halfback counter. And we'll go random uh, random 3 4 a on the other side. Or 4-3. It doesn't really matter. So this play real simple. Not a lot to do. All I'm going to do is flip it. And that just sets this play off on a whole nother level. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, we're just gonna run it just like this. And if I can follow my blocks, you can see how amazing this blocking setup is. I don't know why I slowed down there. <laughs> I know why I slowed down there. My sprint button is not really working. So, uh, real simple though, how to run this play. You really just have to get outside of this outside linebacker. That's the that's the thing. And sometimes, I mean, there he just took himself out of the play. Look at this, man. Come on, sprint. Sprint, you broke a remote. Let's go. Touchdown. Like that play, he took himself out of it, um, which, you know, not is not always typical of what he's going to do. But uh, you really have to just make sure you get past that linebacker and then you're pretty much golden. Like here, I just wanted to sprint to the sideline rather than give him an opportunity to shed that block and get a nice easy run. Yeah, I put out a, a run play out of the last formation that I thought was one of the best that I found in a minute. But this one right here is just even better. <laughs> like this front formation, this run play particularly is so fire. I mean, look how easy I'm getting to the second level. I mean, this is just so cheap like oh my god oh my god come on man that was a hole i just couldn't get through he grabbed me i mean you can just see the big play potential that this play has um there i had to get up behind my guard oh my god i couldn't read my blocks where were you going 88 i thought you should have helped out man i don't know why you can double team that so this looks like almost like a straight up like a safety blitz but we're gonna make this happen anyway as you can see there it's just a little bit different come on sprint button get working here and we, we have a touchdown anyway even with a broken sprint button and like mad people just like crowd in the box you can see how dominant this is so you can see how good this play is so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna move on to the pass play that complements this Typically when I put out uh, pass plays, I try to mirror the motion and stuff, or the lack of motion <laughs> that I did in the run play. But realistically, this pass play I'm going to show you here has, has a little bit of motion involved. So we're going to go, we're going to pick the PA slot corner at the top. So this play right here, it's not the, it's a, it's a pretty decent play, just like this. I would say realistically, if it looks like a cover two, like this looks like it might be, um, I, all I'm really going to do is put Smith here on a streak. So that's going to basically stretch the cover to safety. You can also put him on a fade. It's all the, it's all the same. But that's going to stretch the cover to safety so that my triangle route or uh, Jeffrey will get open. And this looks like a cover two. Might not be right. Uh, it looks like it was actually a cover two man if I had to guess. But it doesn't really matter. Same result. You can see it gets open outside. So this year, once again, looks like a cover two. Once I see a cover three, I'll show you the cover three adjustment. Once they give me something like that. And we're going to get Jeffrey again. I mean, that, that outside slant is going to be deadly against man or zone. I'm not sure which one that was. But uh, this year, once again, cover two. Look, <laughs> how, am I, how am I telling cover two? Typically, you have two high safeties. Now, this here, the way he shifted down like that almost looks like a cover three. I'll have to watch uh, what happens after the play starts. Looks like it's shifting to like an all-man. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna switch it up and give it to somebody else this time. We're going to go to that tight end who cuts up real nice there. All right, so this looks like it might be a cover three. I've been waiting for a cover three. So we're going to motion this over, and it's obviously a man coverage. So that's one of the good things about this formation is to at least give away what the formation is once you motion over uh, the receiver. So it's a man coverage, so I know what my reads are. My reads are going to be circle and Ertz. So let's go ahead. Let's run this one time. I'm going to try to dot this up over the top, and that's a nice catch. Man, Jeffrey is just making those catches, bro. Super Bowl all over. So this here looks like a cover two once again. If I had to guess, it might be like a cover six or cover nine, the way the safeties are dropping. And sure enough, it was. It was some sort of <laughs> weird combination of coverages there. So so this hopefully is a cover three. I've been waiting for a cover three. 
This is finally a cover three or something of that nature. So I'm going to motion over this guy. Now that I know it's a cover three, I'm also going to put Ertz here on a flat route. And now you basically have a decent cover two concept on both sides. But what I'm really going for is that square route. That square route is super glitchy against cover three. You can see how wide open he was. I wish he would have caught and ran it, but it's whatever. So I had to manually pick a cover three because the computer's not helping me out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion this guy over here. Uh, you can see how it looks like he's going to be covered. It looks like with that, with, it's like he's bracketed crazy, and that's all good. So that's going to either pull coverage outside, leaving Ertz wide open, or he's going to get open. I don't know what they're doing, man. They're doing a little dance over there. So I'm going to take that play action away too. So we're going to go ahead and run it just like this. I'm definitely going to try to hit that square route because I'm telling you that's a money, money route. And if they don't cover that, then the tight end's wide open. This play would be best served because it's such an outside route from a far hash mark. So think, think about that. You could always, you know, just know where you are on the field. You can't change that in game, but obviously, you know, just know where you are. So here, I'm going to have much more space. This this play to the sideline, obviously, is going to be much more space. So there, they totally shaded outside, gave Ertz a, a seam right at the middle. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. Like I said, if it's a cover two, you could always put or you can do this exact same setup and put Ertz on a flat if you think it's a cover two. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Wait for that sideline. And we're toe tapping on the sideline for a nice 20 plus gain. So that's it. If you guys want to see more plays out of this playbook, I have some out of the uh, gun type flex. Um, a couple, I already put out quite a few actually out of the uh, out of the single back wide trips, the A slot, um, some really good formations out of here, out of the single back. Um, the A slot one I think was out of like the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings in the beginning of the year. So if you guys want to see that, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money shit out. This next play could be simpler. It's just the mesh, and there's really no, uh, there's not a lot of adjustments. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll pick that. Or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.